One of the things that had everyone excited about this UK football season was running back Benny Snell Jr. He came on last season and became a thousand yard rusher and he wasn't even the true featured back. So we all expected him to start strong. He had just 67 yards on 20 carries and he fumbled early in the game in the red zone. As it turns out, not only did True Blue fans expect a lot of him, Snell also expected a lot and he has to learn from that. It got in my head. Uh, I flustered after a few plays, but things like that mess with me. But I'm still growing. I'm still maturing. And, you know, after, especially after the win, and I'm still winning after all that, um, I was able to get it all out of my head, and I was happy we got the win. So that's good. First game jitters? Um, not really. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't nervous like I usually am. I was nervous when I got in, but uh, I just wanted to, like, go, 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 like I always do. And I actually needed to chill a little bit. Next up, EKU. UK has won the four previous meetings with the Colonels, although the Wildcats had to win in overtime the last time they met in 2015. Coach Elder wasn't in Richmond. He was an assistant in Tennessee then, but he has seen what happened and hopes for that type of effort from his team this year. I watched that game two years ago because we were breaking them down at where I was. But I'll say this, what, what happened last year, what happened two years ago has zero indication upon things now. Um, those guys that were part of that game should be proud of the, the great effort that they put forth to, to challenge a very good football team. Um, they should. But um, two years ago team is not this year's team. Uh, Kentucky uh, is now 1-0, got the 24-17 win over Southern Miss on Saturday, which many say was an ugly win. Coach Stoops loved the defensive effort, and he's been pleased overall with the character the Cats showed in the first game. Maybe not exactly real pleased with their individual play at times, but happy to get the team victory. It, it's not so much about how an individual plays, it's more about how does the team play when you're in the game. You know, I think our team is starting to have that mentality more. The Kentucky's Denzel Ware is being honored after the first game. The senior was named the SEC's Defensive Lineman of the Week. Against Southern Miss, Ware had two tackles, one for a loss, a sack, a forced fumble, and two fumble recoveries, one that went for a touchdown in that U.K. win. Now, the rankings were released today after the holiday. Kentucky picked up four votes in the Associated Press and six in the coaches' rankings. Also, don't forget to go to L our LEX 18 High School Sports Zone Facebook page to vote on one of these three games right here for our Game of the Week on Friday. We'll reveal the winner on Thursday night at 11. Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott had his six-game suspension for a domestic violence case upheld today by an arbitrator. However, because the decision was made so late, Elliott can play Sunday against the New York Giants before starting his six-game suspension. The Kentucky men's soccer team was on the road to play rival Louisville. Both teams 3-0, and the Wildcats took a 2-1 lead in the first half on this nice chip pass from Tanner Hummel and Mikael Peterson with the one-touch goal. However, the Cardinals tied it. That's how it ended, 2-2. Cats lead the series 14-13-5. and Thank goodness the football or basketball games can't end in a tie. The Reds beat Milwaukee Monday night. Tonight in the seventh inning, Scooter Jeanette hit a big homer, a three-run shot for his 24th of the season. Reds take this one 9-3. LEX 18 News. We'll be right back.